Hi, welcome to Andrew Buckle book review of the amazing Absolute Batman, The Killing Joke. This is the 30th anniversary edition, obviously from DC. The book came out in 2018. Obviously, it's a lovely slipcase. Obviously, I will actually get to the book, but you can see there's nothing inside. But I will get to the book, which is the same sort of quality. For some weird reason, on Amazon, it says about 150 odd pages. The book lists 290 odd pages. Very strange. You can see this book is also a real quality one. And this cost me 27 quid. It's about 30 quid now. Still readily available. So it's definitely worth picking up. If you're into this story, I remember reading it. The time when it came out, absolute classic. I don't particularly want to go over the story. It's got the Joker in. It's got Batman. And of course, there's all the usual conflicts. But it's just an absolute masterpiece, the story. But the quality of the book is really the thing that I... Now, I got the original collected editions and all those sorts of things. And I think this is just... Wow, absolutely such an improvement over any previous edition. Now, I'm certain the 50th anniversary edition will be even more amazing, maybe in gold or something. or something. But Absolute Batman, The Killing Joke, Alan Moore and Brian Bullen, of course, all the others there. You can see created by Bob Kane. It says Will with Bill Finger. Always gladly put that as well. There's all the other details there. And there's the table contents. And you can see it's got a lot in this. You've got the Killing Joke, Deluxe Edition, original printing, which I think is lovely. But without having a copy of the originals, I can't say that it looks exact, but it probably is fairly close to it. Obviously, just oversized. Also, it's got lots of other things as well. So, a lovely introduction. This is always good. And then the artwork. Brian Bullen, of course, one of the best. Just got a book brilliant one of Hammer Horror. I know it's not connected with Batman, but this has Vampire Circus in with Brian Bolland's work, and this is just absolutely glorious as well. But I just want to point out, it's got some great artwork, and Brian Bolland's artwork, I've always loved, of course, brilliant in 2000 AD and many other places. Though I must admit, I'm still waiting for whatever it is, the Master Edition or Gallery Edition thing that's supposed to be coming out, hopefully at some point. But still, Back to this. Just superb artwork. And of course, you've got there, good old the Joker there. I don't think he's ever looked as evil or as good in this. And of course, lots of the story. It's, I don't want to show the story. It's a classic masterpiece. I'm certain that many have read this. Of course, there's Gordon there. And of course, you've got to have a circus there. But what you also have is this, which I think is great because you can go backwards and forwards and compare them. Let's just see so in between. Oh, you can see that as well. I love those ones where it actually shows the sort of separations there, where the process, the pages, just the colours and things. Just great. I love that. Also, there you can see there. Would love to have seen it done for all of them. That would have been maybe in the 50th edition, the 50th anniversary one, they will do that. But there's the original comic. I mean, wow. I mean, that is just great. Again, I haven't got the original comic. And this, of course, this is the of course, famous scene there. It's completely spoiling it. My apologies. There's always going to be spoilers in these stories. But the Joker is, of course, what he is. And there he is again. There's the Joker. But wow, seeing the original comic just looks great. And I think all omnibus editions or absolutes really should do this. Just a great addition to it. And there's a few other ones that have done similar sort of style. Just perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Then on to the script. And that's another thing. Though I must admit, the script is fine. I mean, of course, if you're really into scripts, it's just great. But you can see the script there. I haven't read through it, I must admit. So it's a lot of pages, page after page. And maybe, oh, I'm going to say, it starts at about 130 or the script. And it goes on all the way through. There's a lot of script there. And it got, gives obviously a lot of detail that probably never makes into the actual comic itself. I mean, it's just got now in the foreground over to the left. We see that two bruisers dragging them, etc., etc. There's a lot of detail. And then under occasionally that sort of thing as well. It's always nice to see the black and white. And actually, that's one thing that's not included. The inked pages. That would have been a great addition as well. Another thing that could possibly, if they exist, be put into, of course, a 50th or 40th anniversary. And it goes through, continuing on, and then to the back. And you've got obviously some other lovely pencil page there. And that would have been good as well, of course, if they had actually made a copy of those at the time. And then, see, there, the cover. 
and of course some other brilliant of the Joker. But this is an amazing book, really worth picking up if you want a really absolute edition. I wish all absolute editions were as good as this because this is a quality, quality book. The Killing Joke, absolutely lovely, brilliant read. Who did this one? Batman Noir, The Killing Joke, and it's in black and white. Really, really good. Really like this sort of beautiful black and white quality. Though I must admit, the quality of the book is pretty odd. It really is one of those sort of ones that could have done with a slight better in quality on the spine. So it always keeps stuff cracking and breaking. Anyway, still an absolutely final book and one that you could check out as well. So you're going to get any of these sort of books, maybe the absolute, maybe this one. Of course, there's lots of other copies of The Killing Joke available as well. This one, like I say, does come with some really great imagery, of course, from Brian Bolland all the way through.